22 grandchildren, six great grandchildren. Christmas is quite an occasion. I nearly missed it. <laughs> he can joke about it now, but Graham Butteris from Tunbridge had a lucky escape. He started experiencing blurred vision back in August, so he decided to visit a doctor. I thought everything off because everything's down to old age at my age. So I don't normally go to the doctors with hardly anything. And after a doctor referred Graham here to an optician's for an eye test, Lindsay found nothing wrong with Graham's sight at first glance, but his symptoms were warning signs of much more than meets the eye. If you were to look at Graham's eyes, they were lovely and healthy. It was his symptoms that were the key. And on a daily basis, we get people come and tell us that they get intermittent blurred vision. But it was the fact that he was telling me that when he bent over and stood up, that's when it happened. And, and that just seemed a little bit sinister to me. So it just let me delve that little bit further. We did all the other tests just to prove that there was nothing else wrong. And then I said, actually, we need to do something quite urgent about this. People come in to the to optician to expect them to go away with a pair of glasses. And your eyes are worth so much more than that. You know, if someone's got high blood pressure or high cholesterol or diabetes just there's so much that you can tell from the eye and um, so much more the 71 year old was then rushed for several scans and emergency surgery at the hospital which confirmed an 80 percent blockage in an artery in his neck something doctors believe could have turned fatal the blood clots could have eventually got through this debris and gone to my brain and that would have been a stroke and there's very little they can do to you once it gets to that stage. I was probably the one of the oldest ones in that ward and I'm looking at people an awful lot younger than me that couldn't feed themselves, they couldn't talk, had limited mobility and you're thinking this is scary now. It isn't the sort of thing that I would have even thought that an optician would have actually have found. Now they obviously can look further into our eyes and behind our eyes than what we imagine and it's just incredible that really she'd given me the opportunity to have another Christmas. For Graham, he'll be looking forward to spending the festive period with a house full of 20 come Boxing Day, but he'll be sparing a thought for Lindsay's eagle eyes that helped save his life. Joe Coshan for KMTV.